If you've been a social media connoisseur like myself in the past few years, you will most likely have heard of many scandals, conspiracy theories, and shady whisperings of influencers acting strange or having irregular posts. A popular one is the Illuminati conspiracy that rocked the world a few years back, and the lizard people theory that almost reached the same level of popularity. However, one that everyone remembers and somehow never speaks about anymore was the wonderfully strange world of Lil Michaela. Lil Michaela was the point of interest of many content creators around 2017 or 2018, videos being made about her left and right. However, now people have seemed to forget about her completely, and what shocks me most about this is that her story seems to be far from over. Hey everyone, my name is Squeegee, and today I'm going to go in depth on the history of Lil Michaela from her first post to what we know now. And hopefully, I'll drum up your interest so we can get people talking about her again. Before I begin, I'd like to say a good portion of this video is based on my memory, so if I say anything wrong, please feel free to correct me. Without further ado, let's dive right in. In the early days of Michaela's popularity, she was relatively normal. She was a young woman posting things you'd expect from a teenager. She's a regular teen girl who posts selfies and outfits and enjoys K-pop groups. However, she eventually gained some popularity when she began posting about music she had coming out. People began to notice something off about Michaela. She, quite frankly, didn't look real. All of her selfies seemed to be poor quality. And not your average Android user's poor quality, I mean, she appeared to be photoshopped. Whether that meant just her face was smooth or animated, or her entire body was superimposed onto the background, she just looked fake. Honestly, this freaked me out at the time. I was scared by her, and I still have no clue why. Just the idea of her not being real was enough to give me a bad feeling. Many people had the same opinion, and that only fueled the minds of conspiracy theorists. Everyone was creeped out by Michaela's uncanny appearance. Who was she? Or perhaps a more fitting question would be, what was she? Some people even stated that her music was all auto-tuned and didn't sound like a real person singing. However, this could be written off as the auto-tuned era of music we were living in. Now, unfortunately, the only interview I could find with Lil Michaela from this time would be with Shane Dawson, so I had to force myself to watch his content again. If you don't want to hear me talking about his video, which is understandable, you can skip ahead to this timestamp. In this video, I would describe her voice as being tinny or very electronic, almost like there's technology interference in the call. Shane asks her if she is someone who is photoshopping themselves, and Michaela says she's really here. This doesn't quite answer the question. She avoids the truth, and instead of stating that she's a real person, she keeps saying she is talking to you right now. She even states that everyone edits their photos, instead of answering yes or no when Shane asks if she edits her photos. She says that she refused a Skype or in-person interview because she believes the world is an untrustworthy place. Shane comes to the conclusion at one point that she may be a digital pop star who is working under a company for the music industry. So what we got from this video is that Michaela is avoiding questions about her physical self, and it seems that she may be someone working for a music industry. It was at this point that I decided to follow Michaela on Instagram, and now is when it starts to really get interesting. In April 2018, Michaela's account got hacked. Her Instagram account was wiped clean and new posts began showing up, but not from Michaela. The new poster was Bermuda, another influencer who also appeared uncanny and photoshopped, but was also pro-Trump, apparently? I don't remember that part, but whatever. Her posts were captioned with threatening messages saying that she won't give Michaela her account back until she quote-unquote tells the truth. Bermuda claims that Michaela has been lying to her followers and she needs to tell them the truth. She eventually gave Michaela her account back and Michaela came back with a post that would change her story forever. The post was a screenshot of the Notes app, which read, Hi, I got my account back. I swear this is me. This has been the hardest week of my life, so thank you to everyone who checked in with me. I'm sure you guys have noticed I'm a pretty private person. 
I love being open and connecting with fans, but I've been secretive with parts of my life for fear of losing everything I've worked so hard to build. I don't say it enough, but thank you to all my fans for making my life amazing. Okay, now here's the hard part. My hands are literally shaking. I'm not a human being. This gave us the answer we all knew was coming, but it still came as a shock to see it in words. In her next post, which, which seems to since have been deleted, she explained her backstory a little better. She claims she was built by a company named Kane Intelligence, which is not real and has no ties to real companies, by the way. And her purpose was to be a servant. Very Detroit Become Human of them. Apparently, Michaela was then stolen by another company that she has been working for since, named Brud. Brud quote-unquote reprogrammed her to be free, and gave her the memories and personality of a human named Michaela Sousa. Michaela felt confused and betrayed, and this showed in her posts where she spoke about Brud negatively and called them traitors. Brud then came out themselves on their own Instagram, sharing their side of the story. Brud confirmed Michaela's story about Kane intelligence and Michaela's initial purpose, but claimed they saved her from that life, not stole her. It was also evident that Bermuda and Michaela's close friend Blocko were robots by Brud. For the next couple months, Michaela is pretty quiet. She reconnects with Blocko after initially feeling betrayed by him, since he knew she was a robot and didn't tell her. And she doesn't really talk about the Brud situation, other than mentioning she doesn't work for them anymore. It's evident Michaela is feeling down, as her post captions are largely negative. She comes out and clarifies that she and Bermuda are very different people, if you can say that, and Michaela does not agree with Bermuda's conservative views. However, they are still close as Michaela feels she needs people in her life that are from the same background as her. Now she starts exploring places from her memories, contemplating if they're real or not. Put a pin in that because that's a bit of foreshadowing. And then, plot twist, a month later, Michaela joins forces with Brud again. Not much goes on here, Michaela basically just starts to understand them better and she's on their side now. I really don't have much to say about this from this point. Michaela's social media is fairly tame for the next couple of years as she posts general activism, Brud propaganda, and clothing advertisements. Everyone eventually stopped thinking about her, but now, fast forward to 2021 this year, and Michaela's story starts up again at full speed. On June 21st, 2021, Michaela posts that she has been gifted a necklace from Brud. Pretty nice, right? Except the necklace is a USB drive? Her post starts surrounding this USB, so it's clear this is important. She even posts a recap video in case you missed the Bermuda drama in 2018. Hey y'all, it's Michaela. Maybe you heard of me? Long story short, I thought I was just a girl from LA, but plot twist, I'm a robot. I found out I was not a girl but a robot by being exposed on IG. Well, my account got hacked and I cried a lot. I don't remember much before that day, like where I'm really from, who my family is, what I was like, but I do know that I'm 19 years old forever. Yep, robots don't age. And that really upset me for a while. My managers at Brud saw that I was feeling down, so they gifted me this V cute USB that's supposed to solve all of my problems. Sounds like this thing's about to turn my life upside down. On July 3rd, she posted a baby photo of herself. This photo is also very uncanny, as it looks like the baby's wearing makeup and basically just looks like normal Michaela posted onto a baby. It's funny to me, but whatever. Ignoring how the photo looks, what does it mean that she has a baby photo? She said in her recap that she'll be 19 forever, which suggests she has been 19 forever. Apparently, it's the program memory that was in that USB necklace Brud gave her. She was never a baby, obviously. Her next few posts show her exploring her memory files, which include lighthearted posts about her emo phase and her first job, which of course never really happened. According to a summary vid on her Instagram, Brud gave her program memories to give her context and help her relate to humans. This way, her programming was more complex and gave her a more real feeling. Then, Michaela draws our attention to people in the background of her program memories. They're blurred out, pixelated. Michaela is obviously freaked out by this, and so are her fans. Then she posts a photo of her and her first boyfriend, but fans noticed that there were real people that were not blurred in the background. She talks a fair bit about the boyfriend whose name is Ben, 
but she remembers him. She doesn't think it was a program memory, and she mentions that she has to find him. The unblurred people are confirmed to be Jess and Harv, employees from Brud, and Michaela is thoroughly confused. Is Brud hiding things from her programming? Why is Ben in her fake memories if she remembers him clear as day? So that's where we are now. As of September 6th, 2021, that's the last I've heard of the Michaela situation. Obviously, I don't think this is a real robot situation to worry about. I do see this as an ARG, a world building type of scenario, created by an art student or something. Considering I'm pretty sure Brud does not actually exist, and the employees are probably actors. I don't know about you, but I'm going to be following this pretty closely from now on. I totally suggest you dive into this yourself and give Michaela a follow, as the story is clearly far from over, and I'm super excited to see where it goes. She's also very interactive with fans if that's your thing, and she's replied to a couple of my comments sharing my excitement. Hopefully I can get some more people interested in talking about this, and maybe we can get some answers soon. Sources for this video are linked in the description, and remember to correct me in the comments if I was wrong about anything I said. As always, stay safe and stay cool. This has been Squeegee, and I'll see you all next time.